guys uh, welcome back this is my boy Adam Slink how you guys doing welcome to another video uh good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching this video from so just to give you a recap of the things that we're going to be discussing in this video of course we're going to be looking into major politics and uh of course uh Kwan Kwasu, uh, running mate then uh we're going to also talk about the muslim muslim ticket coming from apc and what oshomale a former governor of Edo state has to say about that and also nollywood actor kenneth blast tinubu and uh funke akidele believed believed that our social media followers will vote for her and and uh, make her the next vice president a uh, vice governor of uh lagos state and uh, also we're going to discuss other issues as well that has to do with peter ob well let's start with a uh, kwan kwaso running mate so uh of course you already know that kwan kwaso and uh, peter ob tried as much as possible within their power to merge N npp and uh, labor party but that didn't happen obviously because of their individual selfish should i say selfish reason or pride you know individual pride and what they think individually so now peter ob has however taken uh, a running mate and that is uh, danta and also now kwan kwaso decided to unveil his own running mate a bishop his name is isaac idausa well this particular isaac idausa was trending yesterday over these videos <laughs> Nigeria, we are in trouble. <laughs> oh God, David! Those people are joking. Honestly, these people are joking. I don't understand. I don't. I don't get it. What made Kwan Kwaso decided to pick uh, Isaac Idausa? Of course, we already know what how we view religion in this country. We think religion is part of our major crisis. Whether you believe it or not, majority of us, including me myself, I think religion is part of our major crisis. It's not worshipping God. Worshipping God is way more different than what we are practicing. Huh? God will always be God and uh, whoever worshipping God in uh, their individual religion, God knows them. He knows them. But the way majority of us are trying as much as possible to brainwash people over this religion fantasy and all the rest is wrong. Well... Bishop Isaac is a really fine choice. I'm not saying it's not a fine choice. For those of you who are NNPP, yeah, it's a really fine choice. But the way he performed this miracle is something that is questionable because of how we know how miracle works. You cannot be moving around playing football and doing your body up and down and people falling down. You expect us to believe that you're actually performing a miracle. I do not believe that, but I do not know if most of you believe that as well. You know, we have our individual fundamental human rights and to believe whatever we wish to believe as long as it's not affecting another person. So, like I've said before, I do not believe in such miracles, but I do not know if you guys believe in uh, such miracles. You know, if you believe good and fine for you, and uh, if it's because of the miracle that is performing that will make you want to vote for NNPP Kwan Kwaso, and uh, Bishop Isaac, also good for you. Just get your PVC and vote. You have your own fundamental human right. Well, and uh, talking about the Muslim Muslim ticket, our governor, former governor of Edo State, uh, Oshomole, this is what he has to say. He said, The more opposition parties join the Muslim Muslim debate, the more I'm satisfied that Asiwaju Bola Tinubu decision is right. We need courage. We have struggled to balance this religion issue in recent years. Tunubu's decision showed that he will take bold step when elected. If the number of churches and mosques we have built over the years is equal to number of factories, we won't be at this poverty level in this country. We can't continue with business as usual. I'm satisfied with the equality of Shetima. He is well read and well exposed. He is well awarded both home and abroad. We should spend time interrogating the personality, competency of Tinubu's nominee. Soon, pagans 
we organize themselves to say otherwise too. Oshomole also, also claim that Tinubu Shetima ticket is balanced ticket for the party also dismissed uh, concern over Islamization agenda with the Muslim Muslim ticket. Well, that's our former governor, uh, Alaton Shomole. And if you check at those state currently, we are living in harmony with a Christian Christian ticket. No? Despite I do not support the Muslim Muslim ticket for presidency, that doesn't mean that I shouldn't say the truth. Currently, in Edo State, we are living in harmony with a Christian Christian ticket. Currently, that is what we are li living with. Mm. So, well, we are talking about presidency, so it's way above governor, like a governor. So, I think we should really sit down to think about it. Well, thank God we have other choices to choose. Thank God we have options. That is democracy for you. We have options to choose. If uh, APC is not giving you what you want, then simply look over to PDP. If PDP is not giving you what you want, look over to uh, Labour Party. And if it's not giving, look over to NNPP. Then if that is not okay for you, then you go over to Showare and other political parties as well there are many well let's uh, move past that and then this one is coming from uh, actor kenneth you know kenneth resigned from apc after tinubu announced that muslim muslim ticket and also kenneth had time to talk about peter Obi. so what party are you moving to i am not contemplating any party yet but I must have to tell you, a friend of mine, a northern brother of mine from Kanu State, when he learned I was coming to this program, he told me that I must be obicentric so going you forward. Should do the obedient movement. Good. <laughs> this is a northern Muslim talking. Mm. Anybody that is telling you that northern Muslims will not support Christians is telling you false statement. So, and that uh, is the problem with bringing octogenarians to manage your party and manage the affairs of government. So, Senator so have Adamu, you, Have you joined the obedience team? I am will be centric, but <laughs> I have not joined any party <laughs> because <laughs> that is the ticket that has actually provided for me that stability, that youthful energy that we need to change the system of Nigeria but, but at this time. Because APC and PDP says it's just an internet sensation. I mean, social media buzz, and of course, that, for example, on Saturday, yeah. when the Oshun State Governorship election will be held, that you will see where Labour Party will, will be. And it won't be among the top three or something like that. When they say such things, what do you say to them? Do you remember the time that APC was campaigning in 2015? They were the originators of internet sensation. And so, why are they crying if it is not making an impact? When I read Business Administration, they taught me that the strategy of marketing starts with drawing attention. We call it the IADA principle. Attention, interest, desire before action. So stimulating attention of the people is the first thing you have to do when you want to market a product. And Obi is doing that well? They are doing it effectively well. And that is why those people are rattled. <laughs> so, another word actor, Kenneth uh, Okonkwo. Well... He said he's uh, obedient, and uh, but he has not uh, actually uh, moved over to Labour Party. But he has, but let's let's hope maybe he might decide to pick a Labour Party ticket. Then uh, talking about Nollywood uh, uh, people, let's talk about Funke and Kidele, who may be the next Lagos State Vice Governor. Well, I don't know how he succeeded in moving up to that kind of seat. But that's actually really, really good for him, though. Really, really good. And then let me tell you something. He believe, sorry, she believe that social media, our followers on social media, can get her to that seat. He has the numbers. I have the numbers. I have fans and followers. I'm true to myself. Can you put a figure to the followers? What you're expecting? So I have over 
I have over 15 to 20 million fans. On social media. On social media. And they're not... The not grassroots. Open. What about the grassroots? Exactly. The grassroots are a lot of people. Yeah, because, I mean, politics, they say, is not on social media. Exactly. It's the grassroots. I, they are my fans. They feel me. You know that. Outside of Ikorodu. Yes, outside of Ikorodu. I have fans at the grassroots level everywhere. And I'm true to myself. What I'm coming in for is to better the lives of negotiants. I am tired of typing. I'm tired of talking. I want a positive change. I want to get into power to prefer solutions to the major problems we're going through with the support. And by supporting my governor. Yeah, I was going to say cut. Uh, I love her speech, honestly. And despite her having trouble with her marriage, that doesn't mean she cannot make a really good next vice Lagos state governor. No, don't overlook, just overlook her marriage and check what she has to say. And that uh, she's very, very ambitious, and that's equally really, really good for her. Well, moving forward, guys, I saw this video of uh, APC uh, people sharing bag of Gary, and people were rushing to retrieve this bag of Gary. And you see youth there, see guy man, see guy man with cap, see guy man and get for back. You know, it, it makes me wonder, honestly, like, on guys a disease. Ah, my brothers and sisters, on guy is, a, is one of the, the most contagious disease we are facing on heart. Hunger. There are so many food to go around, and yet, it can't even go around. You remember during the NSAS, NSAS protest, the palliative release were stored in warehouses. We even had some saying they stored those palliative because they are, are, they are waiting for their birthday so that they can share the palliative. Can you imagine? And yet, when I go there, go they call it Gary. I hope eh, that Gary becomes manner for you guys. No, no, it's that Gary. For the next years to come oh god i know they like see people like this and exactly one thing is that if you have that mindset of going after politicians to collect money collect food stuff and all the rest god will always reward you through that small 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 tippers but if you talk to god say guy guy mad god i can no longer do this anymore i do not want to be a tool i do not want to be going after one political party to another political party rally to be collecting food bless me with my handwork i bet you your life will start changing you sleep at night quarter 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 you don't know why god the nature it's not even god god is not punishing you you don't know why nature is punishing you because of your mindset because of what you focus on you focus on begging moving from one political rally to another to beg and God will always push you to that particular piece. And that particular source of uh, income doesn't last. You will just eat a cup of gari today, one month, if it's too many, and it's finished. And you are waiting for the next political uh, valley again. You're not going to change your mindset for you to prosper. Well, and uh, to end this video, I want to play what Asha Buari said recently. Uh, consigning Peter Obi and uh, his movement. Let me first of all start by apologizing to you. I will do a lot of videos. As I see, I will talk on them. So please, in advance, no verse. If you see my video, if they are becoming too much, eh? Don't be angry. But it's just we just have like eight months to election. And I promise you, after the election, I will take a little bit of break from any video or anything. So hold me to my words. But honestly, uh, in the last few days, I've been seeing, or maybe more than a, a, a day, maybe like in the last week or two, there have been a lot of posts where you see people saying that, oh, now the Igbos want our vote and they are doing this. Oh, oh now our region, we will do this. Oh, yes, now we will show them and stuff like that. Hello? A vote for Peter will be, it's not for a vote for Igbo people. You understand so this all of this uh, yes now we will show them and there's some people saying that oh by by february we will shock them you're already in shock who are you shocking 
when you're voting for Peter, it's not about saying, oh, it's about Igbo people. No, no, this is not about Igbo people or Christian or a male or whatever. It's about competence, character and capacity. And that's all we, we, the focus should be all about. Nothing more, nothing else. And if you think that you're coming out to say that, oh, Igbo people, these Igbo people, that, and you, would have, you want to cut your nose to spite your face, I hope I got that right. Well, <laughs> the joke is on you. Because I want us all to understand, in this Nigeria, if there's any region or any group of people, let me not use region now, if there's any group of people that can withstand whatever hardship Nigeria has to do, more than any group, I think it's the Igbo people. I might be wrong, but that's you. They have a lot going for them. It's one of, it's, it, I should I say one of the most economically empowered group of people in terms of capacity. Know that, oh, the richest man might be there, the richest man in Africa might not be all of that, but you, it's, it's the kind of uh, people, in terms of economic uh, 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 on a whole, have it a lot. I shall say that last statement concerning Igbo people, but let's be completely honest. Igbo people eh, are the people who have more, despite the bribery or something that they are facing, there are people who have more hope in Nigeria. Because they come to a place, they develop, they build out. They don't even care eh, if anything can happen. If the if the uh because of the crisis if the the oh how am i going to put it if the local people there will embezzle their property and all they really don't care they just want to live in harmony they just want to sell their business well thank you guys for watching it's a boy girl i'm slink and uh, have a wonderful day stay blessed catch you next time peace